I already knew, like, I'm, I'm a big believer in collaboration. This project just, like, further established that for me, you know. Again, the, the crew, I can only stress, I can't stress enough how great of a job the crew did, you know. Everyone really came together, everyone pulled their own way, and they did an awesome job of, of getting this project done. because I'm really drawn to character driven stories and that one has a lot of character in it and a lot of um, they have strong family theme because uh, Jason is disconnected with his family emphasizing family values and reconnecting and finding what's most important in life. Okay so we have Saturday and Sunday uh, the numbers right now are uh, 36 people scheduled between the two days. No oh, just auditions in general when you have Jason walks in, he's like, hey Jason, come on, we gotta talk about this phone bill, man. It's, you know, it's costing money. And Jason's like, it was a mess. Come here a second. Listen, I've been going over the phone bill from last month. You've gotta cut down on the texting. I'm serious, Jason. You had almost 1,500 texts last month. Drama is not my favorite genre. I do like it, but obviously, I like comedy better. But comedy is easier because I feel like laughter is universal language, along with music. But laughter is a universal language, and all you have to do is film somebody stubbing their toe and you'll get a laugh. But with, with drama, I feel like it's a challenge, and I like that. And I like, I like that it is a challenge, and I like the reasons that make it challenging. It challenges me as a director to you know, dig deep inside myself and find that emotion and find the right language, the right words, the right, the right look in order to get the message across and convey feeling and emotion because not everyone feels the same emotion when looking at the same thing, not everyone interprets it the same way. It's really, really, really relative. Drama is extremely relative. Unorganized this kid is. <laughs> and here's our wonderful director. I'm organized. This is the guy that's supposed to direct us through this. Uh, that's yes. gonna happen. That's not even our. How, what do you, how do you feel about putting a dolly track on this floor? If we put the top on. Let's talk about some more. Uh, text went well. I had the idea of changing. Because originally the text was supposed to be for Kelly's house, that location. <laughs> However, we decided to change it after I brought the suggestion up to. Zachariah Moore, our, our fabulous director, who always is sweating. We can throw a uh, pedal back from uh, Matt Young's house. Um, good location. Originally, we were going to use it for Kelly's house, but uh, due to <laughs> Keith being a dick, uh, so due to the location, uh, it actually works well. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be I'm gonna be <laughs> I think it's gonna turn out great. It's gonna be dope. 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 <laughs> and I'm sweating again. <laughs> <laughs>
production went well. We uh, we got a lot done, which was probably the biggest concern at first. How much like just the scope of work we had. We had just so many shots that we needed to get, and on top of that, just adding shots that we felt we needed for coverage and uh, things that we just needed. We felt that we needed just to tell the story better. I'm really proud of every single person that was on production. Everybody did a great job. We we rushed a lot. Walker. Yeah. I think I told him that the first yell means tail end. Let's see if he actually follows through with it. If not, behind the scenes, we want to go tell him that it meant tail end. Uh, the production that disconnected went well. Uh, it was a little cold the first day. Everybody was freezing, um, but we had we had a nice warming tent and some hot cocoa, so it was good. I'd like to thank everybody on set for putting up with my horrible puns every day of production. Uh, it was like some sort of weird punishment for them, but yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was fun. Talked with Keith, found out what he kind of wanted for an overall look or a feel. Um, we know we wanted a lot of blue, so we, we lit daylight mainly, a uh, little bit of tungsten here and there, uh, but we just kind of wanted that blue, kind of sad, depressed feel almost, and that would be we thought that would give our uh, editor a little bit room to play with the color. Um, before we even got the footage, I like to be a very hands-on editor. I like to always be on set. Orange blossom, yay. One thing I kind of noticed was our shot list was very wide. Um, we didn't really get in for emotional scenes. So I talked to our DP and uh, our director about that. I felt like we had some shots in that really helped to try to correct that problem. Filming has gone amazing thus far today. Our actors are ten times better than anybody could have imagined. And our crew is great. We're, we're on schedule. We're a, little, we're a little behind schedule just because of uh, just little minute details on shots and stuff like that. But in general, we're pretty on track right now, so we're doing good. I chuckled during a take. <laughs> Wasn't there. Why were you chuckling? Because that door kept slamming. Come on! Funny, made, made you giggle a little bit? Yeah, it made me giggle a little bit. Oh, see what happened there? I got it. We are the Clark Street Sound Boys. Uh, Shy Town Sound Scientists. You know, the audio bruisers. Uh, we got a good dynamic. We work well together. I think we have a good time. We've put together some pretty awesome things. I think we've, you know, had our fair share of stuff that we're not so proud of, but <laughs> I mean, that goes, for, that goes for everyone, yeah. It's awesome. It's, it's been great. Um, Zach and Keith are, are killing it. Uh, Amanda's been doing a great job. John Shook is keeping up, keeping us on pace, and he's doing a great job. Everyone from top to bottom is, is pulling their weight and and really making this very easy for me to, to enjoy. I just like to say great job to everyone involved from the bottom of my heart. It truly, it truly did turn out great and I had a great time. I learned so much from on set, off set, post, pre. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about other people and a lot about myself and I just like to say thanks for the for the opportunity. And in hindsight, there are certain things that I would have done differently. So seeing the cut, I, I'm missing things. There are certain scenes that I was attached to emotionally that I would like to have seen. But trusting my DP, who has been stand-in director in the, in the editing bay, and trusting uh, the editor, I have 100% confidence that the right decisions were made. And I like to say, uh, Disconnected is you know, top, top shelf production, one of the best productions I've ever been a part of. But yeah, it was. Shit. <laughs> I'm the best motherfucker out there. Are we gonna <laughs> cut this profanity out? No, we ain't gonna cut no goddamn profanity out, man. That's what we about. We'll start cursing like a motherfucking sailor up in this <laughs> bitch then.